All right, guys, we got a call from Nick. He said to bring some ramps, which I have in the back. Uh, he said he had a surprise. He can never be too good when he says he's got a surprise. So I guess we're just gonna ride out to the garage and uh, see what that surprise is. So I'll see you when we get out there. Okay, so you guys haven't seen the car, but I have. So what do you got for us, Nick? Right now, I need my groceries. <laughs> Some groceries, special groceries, bro. Oh, what do we not have is a better question. What do we not have? That is a good question. Well, I mean, you can go over there and see everything we've done this morning. So this morning, we started to take this off because Nick. It's the best explanation I can give. Today taking the automatic out of this and we've got a whole box of parts for a five-speed conversion we'll go through this in a little yeah, bit we just don't have everything yet. We, still yeah, gotta, we still got a lot of yeah, parts we still have a shit time to go through but later we'll go through this and i'll show you everything that we do have so far i wish i was recording this when it happened but i wasn't nick dropped the car on the jack stand and scratched it up. Let's see if you can see. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let the everything cool down. Let's go for this box. So, adjustable clutch cable. Cool. Flywheel bolts. Yep. Of course. Oh, it up. Wrong end. Clutch fork. Ah, clutch fork. Your basic parts. Transmission mount. This one here's kind of heavy. <laughs> yeah, let's see this. No, this might be the flywheel. Oh, that's a flywheel. Yep. I don't think I've ever seen a flywheel look so clean. I've always got junkyard parts, so it's kind of nice. It's very nice. Yeah, you might have to get that one. It's kind of hard to do one. Yep. I figured. This should be clutch. Yep. Yep. You can put that part down there in the box. Again, very clean. I've always used junkyard parts, so I kind of like that. And pressure plate. I like that. Now you know what you need to do. You need to paint that to match the car. How oh, they give you one. That's cool. So yeah. Nice. All these new parts. You're still waiting on more parts, actually. Yep. Jesus. That's crazy. Where'd all these parts come from, Nick? Let's see. Where is rockauto.com? Uh, rock Auto. You always got to go Rock Auto. It's cheap, good for a while, probably. I've not had any problems out of Rock Auto parts. We'll put it that way. Come here. I'm coming. Uh, son of a bitch. You left them sockets laying up here and it just dumped this whole box out. <laughs> we have a mess. Uh, yeah, as soon as I moved this, them sockets were leaning against the other. Got the shifter out of the car finally. Now we're just waiting on Nick to get done pooping. Had to run him down here. Wait till he gets in the car. same video but I had to quit recording because the car is a little small we don't have lift so it was a little hard to uh, work on it and film at the same time but right now we got to go pick Nick up his truck bro and I'll end this
this video with a little recap or update, I guess you could say, on what we've done to the car so far. And I'm going to put the phone up because recording and driving is definitely not safe. So, see y'all in a few. Alright, so for the car, uh, we didn't get the transmission out. Uh, we got the drive shaft, we got the exhaust, exhaust caught, cut and caught on the lip of the garage. We can't even get it in. Yeah, we gotta take the damn muffler. <laughs> the mufflers are caught back here. We gotta figure that out. We got drive shaft out. We've got the most barbarian style oh, here. Here. shifter. This other door's unlocked. I think I'll go there. Yeah. We have got the most barbarian style shifter job on the automatic. We had to cut it to because, get it out. Because someone decided they was going to JB weld the yeah, shifter on, so they just put the bolt back in it. Yeah, the automatic shifter was JB welded and you couldn't pull it out, so we just cut it. Or Nick just yeah. cut it. Because who doesn't yeah, like to cut we'll things? We'll get rid of it automatic anyway. Transmission still fine. Um, it doesn't sound like a lot, but honestly, it was quite a bit. Oh, we out here what? We was out here for a good while, and that's kind of as far as we got. So, but uh, we also got the transmission lines removed. We all, we also did get the transmission lines removed. We got the transmission fluid somewhat removed because it got all over <laughs> us. <laughs> well, actually, well, the last time you and me pulled anything like that, you got soaked in transmission. I got soaked in transmission fluid. Yeah. Like I bathed in. Yeah, it. that was the worst. I hated that day. So I never want to do that again. And that was just from a partner car. Yeah, it was, it was the S10, the black S10. We parted the S10 out, and that's kind of what happened with it. Exactly. So, there's a few things off the checklist that we've done. We also got, well, Nick, I keep saying we, but it's, it's Nick's car. It's, but it's good content for the channel. We got... Brand new short throw shifter. Shifter in. Mm -hmm. Here, I'll just let you hold it. Well, here, hang on. Let me get this box. We got... I like the knob a lot. It, it actually glows in the dark. I love this knob. It glows in the dark. It's, it's, it's freaking cool. Yeah, there's something down in there. Right there. Let's see here. I'll just get that in there. Get the clutch quadrant. So all the hardware in here in this box. Yeah, that's the new piece that we were waiting on from So, this is the quadrant. If you don't know what that is... Like, we uh, didn't also, we didn't know what it was either. We had to look up and find what that was called. Yeah, it just replaces it. just replaces the plastic little clip off your pedal. So, it replaces this, and he got an aluminum one to put on there for durability. Yeah, pretty much, because as you can see, here, get that. See, right here, the teeth are wore out on every one of them. Yeah. And that's what we was talking about, because as you engage and everything like that, like, th these teeth start wearing out over the, over the years. And this came out of an original SN car that was a five speed, so I'm gonna go ahead and update all that. We're gonna yeah. get all that stuff replaced, at least get everything new. Well, everything. Most now, most things new because but now. You know. Uh actually, since we're actually posting this, uh I've got a I just wonder if anybody that watches would do this. Would anybody know where Such a T uh, yeah, see? Well, anybody know where a t5 is to trade to a t45 and an automatic aod yeah so because at first we thought that's what we had but we had never actually fully looked at the transmission until after we took the bell housing off and then well from there i kind of figured uh this ain't a t5 because the t5 has it looks the different. outer the outer yeah. bolts that take the bell housing off this has the inner bolts and then once i took it off as you can see we have a Dreamic t45 yeah, so a little bit of backstory on this transmission. It, well, we traded a crackhead, a junkie 305, probably, for a really good T45. He said it was a T5, so we just kind of took him at his word. Um, yeah, we didn't even actually just look at the whole thing. We just threw yeah. it in the truck because it was the middle of the night. We just we just tossed it in, brought yeah. it out, threw it in a corner. and Yeah, we just, well, we just ended up forgetting about it. Yeah, and we so we got the car, and he says, well, I got a five-speed. I'm going to five-speed swap it. It's a T45, and the bell housing, the bell bolt housing bolts do not line up Where's from the, this to a 5.0. Yeah. So we need this, but we need a T5. Yeah, and actually, I mean, if you get down there and look at the video, I mean, look, look yeah. how clean it it's, is. I mean, to come from it. a crackhead, it's it's fairly clean. Um, 
really clean, know, actually. It's a little dirty. Well, traded. We don't know how he acquired the T forty five. If he traded it, whatever, <laughs> it, it don't really matter. It's it's ours. Quite frankly, it's untelling, but it's whatever because you know now we got it and it's here. But yeah, yeah, I need because I mean I would definitely trade the T forty five and this AOD to a T five. Yeah, and so, some boot. I would be willing to do some boot if someone's got a decent one that they want to get rid of. So there you go, T forty five AOD out of a ninety four. No, it's ninety five. Ninety five GT. Yep. And this is out of ninety six and up something. Now that it's this a T forty five, it could be V six. Ninety six through 04. because it'll fit yeah. the it could be GT uh, all the way up. Yeah, it could be. It'll fit your new edge all the way through. Like could be six SM's cylinder. Yep. Could be a six cylinder transmission. I don't know. Oh no no, no yeah. that, that's definitely not a yeah, yeah. but no so yeah can, no you can get I know but those in but the count same. the splines on it does that make a difference yes uh, a V six one has a, a less splines on it for your shaft here see the shaft here will have less splines on it <laughs> depending on how many splines you have here it's a V six or it's a, a V eight well you learn something every day I didn't know that I just thought it was kind of a slap it in and go no that's how I try to do a lot of cars though. Yeah, I just like tried I said, to go man, with it. I'm just glad that none of the teeth on the gears are messed up. And yeah, no, you can look at them. They're really clean. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it doesn't look like it's even got, <laughs> in, in my opinion, it doesn't look like it's got like 100,000 <laughs> 100, miles on it. No, it I mean, looks. It don't even look like that. It looks really clean. Like, I'm surprised. Because see, even the bearings, all. like like oh I said, like, like, like even like the bearings and everything were still good on them. Those bearings actually look fairly new. Oh, and I figured out where these go now. Yeah. These sit in the back of the bell housing. Yeah. These go on here. Oh, it goes over here. This one does. This one sits on this side. Yep. Huh. All it is just cover the needle bearings. All right, then. So, oh, I guess with that, we're just, uh, we'll keep you posted on the car. Uh, right now, it's just kind of, yeah, we're like waiting. Nick, Nick broke his truck, so that, that'll be in <laughs> video, too. We'll, we'll we'll get more into that in the second video. I didn't break the truck, damn it! But uh, it broke itself. <laughs> as you, it needs a water pump. Nick broke the truck on his way home from work, so we're gonna put the car on hold for the time being. You know, uh, try and work on the truck, get it. Hopefully, hopefully we can get it a little closer to the door. Yeah, like I said, I mean, right now I just want to put the car in here. Yeah. Because I, I got cut the mufflers off of it. I got the muffler sold. Yeah, he's got the muffler sold. He's going to upgrade those, hopefully, to something that sounds a little bit better than what he had. Yeah, we're getting rid of the Rustmasters. <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, he's not a big uh, Rustmaster fan, but that's fine. I don't really care either. I'm more of a Borla guy. I just like the way they sound. But if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, it's the Flowmasters. Yeah. It's got the, uh, what is it, the Series 40 or whatever they yeah, are? Yeah, well, I think it's f 40s or something like that uh, i don't, I don't know. even sure like i said man, I'm Ser not it's the 40 series i know i know a lot of people around here like to put them on their jeeps if you didn't know that I actually mean, it's a freaking jeep thing man like they all want to i mean dude 90 yeah. time in in this county man they do a straight pipe on so with that being said nick what do we got to say like and subscribe uh yeah definitely i mean because i mean because you're actually thinking about buying an SN car too now. I am thinking about buying an SN car now. Or a 91 to 93 Fox. I don't know yet. I I told him to get an SN car. That's just me. He just wants to twin. I mean. That's all it is. You just want to twin. Well, that's the thing. But I, I could twin. But see, but that's what I'm saying. But, see, one, but, but, but how many of them here have a Fox, though? You don't see that many anymore. Josh has got what? 80 of them? <laughs> yeah, but that's Josh. <laughs> you don't know who Josh. We got we to gotta show you Josh's collection. Yeah, there, that is a true. lot of them aren't drivable, but it's the fact that he has so many of them. You gotta see. Yeah, there's a he's lot. He's got, got a lot. Yeah, he, he's rounding them up over the time. I think he said he had what sixty Fox uh, bodies. 70, 70? 78 The last time he counted. Last time he counted, he had seventy eight Fox bodies. How many SN cars was it? It was, uh, it was fifty. He had, 60? Uh, no, no. I think I think the last time he like was well, he he don't have any more. The only thing he's got left is just the shells now. Oh, he, he went, okay. He, he parts the SN cars out so much. That's just what he does. Hmm. He parts them things out left and right, man. I mean, you you never know. With him, he likes to gut these things just because of the fact that he just thinks the SN car is just not not the best. I mean, me personally. I like an SN. They're hard to find, especially with a 302. And I got a hell of a deal on this one. I really so, do. 
With that being said, guys, please like, subscribe. Come on, like, comment, share, get everybody involved in it. We're gonna do some really cool things at some point. So see you guys later.